Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the journey of a blind playthrough on legendary difficulty of the game. It's time for the fourth initiation, our third team. The team of uh, Kyle, Kenai, is going to go into that mission and we're fighting according to uh, this here, eliminate a uh, group of new Jericho soldiers. So that special mission will hopefully be successful. We still very soon uh, got a second class for Kyle, so that's great. JP Pauly still needs more points for a second class. Uh, Incy Wincy already got her second class, uh, 14 points. I like Armor Break, that's a fantastic ability. Might as well just skill that. Yep, Anthony waits for his second class. Wait for a second class. And Craig already got his second class. We got Berserker plus Sniper. Um, I'm still thinking about like adding Berserker to some of uh, these classes. On the other hand, um, the combination of Heavy and Sniper also has piqued my attention. So having a Berserker Sniper here and then maybe a Heavy Sniper, uh, that'll give you all of uh, the combos that you need. All right, we landed. Oh, what is happening here? New Jericho. Okay, well, we gotta kill all en enemies. This doesn't exactly look like we are no, no genius. Not a but problem. Maybe the game just ran out of maps. Who knows? Aiming. Nice hit. Got gotcha. you. Another shot. And we're overwatching. Here comes the Phoenix. I'm on the move. Good, moving up. Should have maybe picked the armor penetration. I was born ready. Infiltrator moves up. Kills this guy. Lots of willpower loss. Oh, so it's not bad. I think that was a, solid, uh, a good and solid hit. Given that we still have willpower left over, this better work. I would continue with just pistol attacking. I'll try to stop them. Moves up. Forty armor, that is not. <laughs> Alright, moving up. This guy unfortunately will get a full turn. I don't know how we would prevent that from happening. Don't have time for 
decoy either. He got the overwatches, but he shouldn't be able to do anything crazy. His willpower is down. Although oh. I have been missing these. Yeah, that's really going to be an issue for us. Adding one more to the Okay, reloads. I would like our snipers to do sniper work and actually go behind Running. secured lines kind of over here Let's show what we can do moves this. up um, say hello to my little friend. place this turret here Moving to and course. then actually starts to move down. Here goes. Moving now. Moving. Good. Trying to be mindful that we're going to get more rockets. I'll keep my eyes open. I'll be right there. All right, end of turn. Let New Jericho come, and hopefully we can kill them one by one. It's crazy how you can outrange a sniper with your indirect fire oh. it really is i i don't know he's uh mm. count to ten Three. these are by far the worst weapons that they do have to engage Good. sniper has just lost his weapon that'll make them substantially less dangerous Polly moves into cover still got to deal plan? with the problem of the heavy here Disabled his arm, which is good. A bit more extra shots. Just overwatching. Trying to move as far away from our other sniper as humanly possible. And that's another kill. Advancing. Justin moves up. That's a nice weapon. Heading out. And see Wincy moves up. And we're covering with an Overwatch. Moving into cover with everyone. <laughs> no 
Okay, well. Good, we can war cry if we so desire. Show them what we can do. Uh, Incy Wincy actually heals herself. Those 40 hit points might what are we doing? decide between life and death. Kyle does the same. Repositioning. Hope this works. Moves over here. Overwatch for oh, now. Safe. Yeah, we were in this awkward spot where everybody took some damage. Holding position. Haven't really healed up yet. Shotgun over uh, Overwatch. Tell you what, how about we're placing another turret here and we're also overwashing. Time to wreck. Shock and all. Gosh, damn it. Would anyone tell me why uh, none of the Overwatch, like literally everyone was overwatching against this guy and we were just waiting for him to come out? Ready. Well, I guess it is what it is. We'll teach him a good lesson. Yeah, I can't walk right. I wouldn't be hitting anyone. Ready to roll. Run my way. Moving. Overwatch. Moving in closer, shotgun overwatch. I'm getting there. Sniper overwatch. And Paulie just wants to move away from his turrets because then he's less of a overwatch target. Uh, less of a rocket target. I call bullshit on that one again. We can't. Uh, we can't. Yes, it's my turn. Get him with Overwatch. 
but he can very much get into a position. That's just dumb. Heading out. I mean, I get it. The turrets can't overwatch, right? So that's a bit to balance there. Elsewise, relatively strong stats. Okay, cool. No problem. But why are we overwatching with everyone if the end result is that it won't work, right? Right there. I'm going in. So this might daze him if we play our cards right. Yeah, that was just a one. Of course we're not playing our cards right. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, the snipers are in a good position. There is no problem with that. Running. The issue is rather with the rest of the team. They still focus on the tripods, which is to a degree okay. They won't run out of ammunition. That's the problem. One tripod down. Finally, he shows himself. Almost. <laughs> Almost. The day that you caught Captain Jake Sparrow. Almost. Moving now. All three of you are affected. Well, there you go. Thankfully, sniper done. Now it's just a matter of two more. I'll be right there. There's no direct line of fire from up here down there, right? Okay, cool. position okay wow we do have an angle it's not a great one but we do have an angle. oh this better work why can't i hit anything not bad i'll try to stop them We are also reloading. Incy Vinci did a good job. Holding position. Overwatch and enter. Still very much, both of them are still very much trying to hit the turret.
Receiving. Advancing. Good. We're over, uh, we're overwatching. Next turn we can engage. Here comes the Phoenix. Sniper moves a bit closer forward and we're overwatching up there. Actual sniper rifle overwatch as well. Moving fast. And JP begins to move to that other dude. Regaining for another war scream. This here is a bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Armor penetration. Uh. <laughs> Took one down. Good. Moves up, next turn we're ready. I was born ready. all the way over here slightly moves forward and takes away six armor not fantastic but okay Moving. Polly moves up overwatches. Relocate. I'll try. These guys are still dangerous, we cannot underestimate them. ammunition and we're spotted I'll kick your ass. Ah! here aiming First of all, need to drain armor. <laughs> War cry, yes, please. Moves over here. Takes one shot into the injured leg. 
full cover again. Just a little bit damage, not much. Can't really get this guy. It's highly frustrating to see these certain uh, this labyrinth of try to pillars. Them. Makes it very difficult for us to engage. Advancing. Taking aim. Oh! One. <coughs> Finally got his leg. Here we go. Which means he will be slower. Here. can't hit him uh, I'm ready right there hold the position overwatch overwatch Overwatch. Let's go. Polly moves up. Broad Overwatch. I'll keep my eyes open. Wow. What's our move? Let's go. He's really running around, uh, uh, roses around uh, the ring. Or whatever the saying is called. Moving. Ring around the rosies. Moving loud and clear. <sighs> I'll try to get there in one piece. I'm ready. Holly will get to the higher ground. Unfortunately, our snipers, again, cannot even see him. I'm not sure about this. Okay, can we see him somehow, somewhere? Seems like a big fat no, but might as well overwatch. Overwatching. Oh. Guess it's my turn. Here, moving out. Little bit more armor, but that's about it. I think this here will be our best plan? shot. Let's just get this over with. Okay, wow. That mission was extensive, quite long. 
and actually relatively speaking difficult. The heavies, New Jericho's heavies are definitely the uh, best of all heavies. Uh, those rocket launchers, fantastic. Um, I wish we could build them because that would give explosives yet a complete different turn. It's just one action to use them and they are dealing a lot of damage. Good, we got advanced mutation technology. Nice. Uh, Mutok War Beast. And acid weapon technology. Do you understand why your actions were necessary? Why the site is sacred? It is here that the conditions existed which brought forth a better body with a free mind. One without the other is meaningless. The Exalted bids us understand. Why here? To fathom why the site is sacred is to fathom how other sites may become sacred also. Keep on nice. this path and you shall hear the voice of the Shadowed Hierarch. And after him... Okay. Nice. So, research. I think these additional uh, advanced mutations, I like them. Fury 2. Those are the missile launchers that I was talking about. Those are exactly the ones that I was talking about. Diplomacy wise, we're actually quite likable amongst uh, the other teams. Okay, so what was the plan? Let's recover real, uh, real quick. Um, definitely would want to do that, so. Tiamat moves here and we're going to join these guys. We don't have enough tech to trade here, so that's unfortunate. I need tech sites, might fly over here. Good. So Helios, right? We wanted to trade for tech, but tech's not available here. And on the Helios, we got inappropriate Murphy and Asian Cow. Cool. Where's our prime team? That's currently over here. And we wanted to make our way to more of these facilities, which means let's get the Helios. Helios flies there. Manicore 1 flies there. Manicore 3 is already on the way there. We're exploring and we need to help destroy these Pandorans. That's good. Ten for two, not perfect, but also not bad. not have the right substances so what we're going to do next is we're actually flying here personal um, in 
born in the USA, we do have a few people that would want to go and clean out a hive. Little Green is amongst uh, them. Andrew Sanders. Wait. Oh yeah, just the wrong picture. Okay, got you. Uh, Tyler is amongst them. Natalia is amongst them. Ain is amongst them, which means the only thing that's missing is a technician. Look, for starters, I don't mind if you're actually like getting proper armor. Um, I have to wonder, the turret is pretty damn good. So, JP Pauly. One had been destroyed, I see. Uh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate because we could have given over that second turret. We need some more hit points and other than that look I think you're doing all right yeah it's not a Perfect equipment for starters. I would much rather like to augment uh, you guys, but That'll have to wait a few more days Meanwhile in the containment We can harvest a couple of these creatures The two that we caught gave us more material. Yeah, the mutations are actually helpful. So, we're flying over. We found tech and material. Fantastic. Just what we needed. And that means team three here. I know exactly I wanted to get them up here and deliver the JP Pauly. Not refreshed yet. Oh yeah, we're going to fight that. It would be cool to see whether or not uh, we're actually doing it together with the other team. Your recruits are available, uh, but we don't yet need that. In terms of manufacturing, Helios is still on the go. A new handgun definitely would be helpful if we can manufacture that. Specifically, someone is missing his. But yeah, we wanted to get armor soon. And there were a couple of other things that we, uh, that we wanted to do. Um, this here would be great.
that here would be good. It would be a solid upgrade to all of our factions. So getting the hives down is absolutely helpful. Then we got once more into the maze. So it's up here, right? And we got Rebuke, which is down there. Uh, and Prisoner of Ice, which is also there. Um, yeah, I might as well want to do like Prisoner of Ice first. So many missions on this side of uh, the map. Here we're going for the uh, Antediludian uh, Ruins and then afterwards uh, these if we're successful. Team uh, 3 comes up, takes a rest. That would be Manticore 3. So yeah, they definitely need a rest. JP Pauly would hop out and we would get instead uh, Steven or Vanessa in there and JP is the last person for the prime team uh, to work with them uh, the quick flying Helios would uh, pick uh, them up and then we do have like a real prime team uh, the next resources for tech and materials in pr uh, particular would go into upgrading these guys so just double checking I think um, Dilly and his counterpart Euler since they are mid-range uh, combatants I don't think that we need the Mirage Legs uh, plus Vengeance Torso combo, which by the way is great. Uh, specifically the combat matrix here is just absolutely crazy. But the accuracy penalties are not so great. Uh, we do have kind of accuracy bonus here with the Neural Torso. And... Oh no, I meant to say Propeller Legs plus Vengeance Torso, right? The Propeller Legs were the ones that uh, that are giving quite a bit of mobility. So what we could do is, we could actually go for Armadillo Legs. Um, which means if we're shot down from a, um, from a building, we wouldn't take any damage. And... These guys are typically the ones on buildings. Granted, yes, with propeller legs you can easy, more easily get on top of the buildings. But I felt low ground here is equally okay. It's not like XCOM where you absolutely want to have the high ground. So, um, having the immunity to goo, that's a, pl a plus, but I really like 40 armor and accuracy. Because if we build that and that, right, then only the head uh, is in a sensitive region. 40 and 45, that means they would be very much immune to most of the stuff that's happening. And they would have the shield on top of it. Accuracy is okay with that. And with their current helmet, uh, which I think the Sanhedrin helmet gives 10 accuracy. They're actually, are actually quite okay uh, with it. So we would be trading 5 accuracy and 5, which is 10 accuracy, for 1 and 3. So we're losing 6% accuracy. We could... Of course, take the neural uh, torso, which would be less armor, uh, but we would um, even net net increase the accuracy. But I think the additional armor, that demolition, uh, which is an, an option, and the shield are all really good uh, reasons for taking it. I mean, the shield in itself is is quite good. You can't overwatch and have the shield. Uh, I've already checked that. Um, but yeah, the rest you can do. 
and I think we do have enough to augment uh, them. Neuro torso, the accuracy, I don't know how important that accuracy is. What what six percent mean in terms of like size of the circle but we do have a great weapon um, for range and I think over overall that's the better trait I have thought about kind of the propeller legs as well lower armor much lower no landing sho uh, shock and yeah you would need to use more will points in order to jump and the snipers don't necessarily have the most uh, will points so we're going with armadillo legs and proper torso Dilly G now looks like a big boss uh, basically traded in his entire body uh, short of uh, the head and is a bit heavier than before as you can see so upgrading strength and yeah i think he will need more strength uh, it is what it is okay oiler similar train of thought around the augments currently sh just shy of uh, the material to to get it uh, we'll we'll get there same deal here increasing the strength a little bit Okay, yeah, the cybernetics team starts to get, uh, starts to become online. I really like how the team has turned out so far. Only regret is they can't have like full cyborgs. That would have been absolutely fantastic, but they're the closest to it. Okay, cool. Next time we're going to invade Hive and I would ask you to invade the like button, uh, press it, squeeze it and uh, let it uh, erect upwards. Thank you and have a good one. Bye bye.